space heaters. You know, what does this have to do with technology? Well, as you notice, I do record outdoors a lot in my garage. And now it's getting to that time of winter. So we're going to go ahead and buy one of these and set it up and see what's the best thing about it. I saw this one at Costco. It was pretty awesome. It was heating up the area. And I'm going to let you guys know what I think about it. So let's go ahead and open up heat dish. Well, if you guys notice it, 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 it was it was one of those heaters that it goes in direct into you. But this one feels like it completely fills in the room as soon as you turn it on. It takes a couple of seconds to turn on. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to demo this. I'm going to use my phone to actually give you a better demonstration on this and see if you guys could see it in a better angle. But this in particular, it comes with a great features. So I'm going to show you a couple of inputs as low, medium, high and off. And there's a reset button. For some reason, if you have issues turning it off, you can always come back in here and reset it or something happens in particular. Use a screwdriver or flathead and you put it in there or, or Phillips. Uh, another thing that's very important that it's not they don't tell you, but they do tell you in the manual that this could catch on fire easily because of dust particles. If you have dust built up in the actual satellite itself, it could catch fire. So what you want to do is they do have um, cleaners or you could buy yourself a cleaner yourself and just rub it in there. But you have to go take off this cage, but people don't like to take out the cage. It's very difficult. So you have to run it through the cages and uh, make dust remover will help you out and uh, thin enough to go into this thing. Remember, some people don't maintenance this stuff. They don't think about this, and that's how they catch them fire. Now, another thing I like about it, the stand itself, it has this rotating part in the back here. If you guys can see it, it has a rotating part in the back. It, it retains the cable in here, and, and it has an indicator that it is hooked up. Not that it's not on, but it's hooked up. If you can see it, the red light right there. So we're going to go ahead and set this up and see what I... Um, how strong it is and how well it feels all right so this is the heater right now if you can see it indicates that it's on it, it's not on it's plugged in that's what it indicates just to let you know and it gives you a warning there about the particular items that i just talked about the dust itself now we're going to go ahead and turn it on in different frequencies and see how high it goes and as you can see i'm, I'm going to try to give you a better understanding how big it is now bad thing about it is this you cannot tilt it's just one directional that's it recommendations away from the carpet maybe in a solid place where nothing can catch on fire because these are known to turn on fires and start fires on different areas so let's go ahead and turn it on to the low so right now currently it's 120 uh 20 connect, uh, volt connection up to a thousand watts and I'll tell you if it starts heating up right now, I'm starting to feel it. If you guys can see some of the lighting in here, it goes in there already. And I'm trying to, I'm feeling it. It's, it's quickly heating up already. Temperatures are actually increasing as we speak. And it's becoming a, a very, very, very heat. A very, it's distributing the heat very well. I feel it all the way over here in this area. Um, I'm stepping around one foot away from it and it feels like I'm directly and that's just a low we're gonna just take it up a notch to the medium see how fast it, it picks up so this is a medium and it's actually feeling really well I could just live right there with the medium but we're not testing out the medium we're testing the whole thing and see how well it works so let's go ahead and go high now that's super high already and on the high is i could feel it from three feet off i'm actually stepping back and i could feel it all the way in the back over here it feels like i'm right in front of it and if i get closer it's just super hot right here this is probably the two feet away from it is probably the best but this high thing is just this is to actually heat up the whole room um if you want it directly to you and just one person at a time it'll probably leave it at low to be to be honest with you the recommendation and you can see the heat pans in there are actually heating up and they're super red right now as you see and that's about it that's all i can say about this machine 
it's really good it's actually really really good and this is a costco uh they're going for around 40 dollars right now and the only bad thing is like uh, you can't tilt it, you can't move anywhere else it's just one direction and that's pretty much it so i'm going to turn it off so it could cool off and see how fast it cools off and i actually see it the temperature dropping as you can see don't recommend you touching the metal of course it feels super hot as it is and even cooling off it's still um transferring a lot of heat so this is not only in the wreck it's actually completely surround the whole room i actually feel the whole room surrounded here right behind me as it's picking up all the heat it's been working pretty well i set it up in the floor and it's been super overwhelming the whole room i mean i feel like it, i have a giant heater in front of me which is a small little heater but uh and just to let you know the size of it it's 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 larger than the actual picture we're talking about maybe 18 17 inches across from each other yeah 17 inches overall from ground to top it's around 19 inches uh, so you do need some space for this heater but if you want to heat up a room simple room and just you know this is something neat uh recommendation not to sleep with it turned on i mean people have done in many passes and there's been incidents but my recommendation as long as you keep it clear from all obstacles and keep the dust off the system you could continue to use it for many years um my recommendation is replace one every one every every year i would say every two years if it's possible because as technology progresses less voltage gets used and better equipment if you have any questions or any comments hit me up i'm your host frank the tank out